Good morning, everybody. Today they're commemorating the um, earthquake victims of uh, 2017, and I believe it was 1985 or 87. Uh, it'll be in the title, but um, let me see. I can show you right now. Hold on. So it was 85 and 17, by the way. Okay, so they're going to be um, uh, the families uh, and the victim. The families of the victims are present for the commemoration of their family members that died uh, in the earthquakes, as mentioned before. So um, the president is going to be coming out um, shortly. Here we go again. So there's an another angle. So this is actually the same place where um, the uh, yell and the bell was on the 15th. And um, you can see the building, it's red, white, and green. And that whole place, that whole floor you see, and up the streets, was wall-to-wall -wall people on the 15th, which uh, was a very special day. And I understand that there was 190,000 people present. And I can attest that the people were very much in a good mood, and there was no incidents. Uh, it was just such a beautiful experience and um, the people were finally having a yell by a president that was elected by the people because the past couple of presidents were basically um, people that, that stole the uh, office or were um, put in uh, office when they weren't actually the winner. So here here comes the president and his wife and uh, the cabinet. As you can see, they're going to be in formation. And normally what they do is they announce them. So right about the middle there, where that flagpole is, that's right about where I was there um, a few days ago. Tuesday. So he's saying Andres Manuel Obrador is present and he's accompanied by his wife, Dr. Beatriz Gutierrez Mueller. Sandoval Gonzalez is Secretary of the National Guard, Secretary of Marine. Alfonso Moraño Montaño is uh, Secretary of the Oh, wow. I missed that. <laughs> so they're going to give the names of all the officials. Um, and I'm not going to sit there and <laughs> translate them because there's so many. So they're all walking towards the uh, pole that the uh, flag is going to be placed on. Y licenciado Fernando Zoinaga Cárdenas, presidente nacional de la Cruz Roja Mexicana, quienes se dirigen a la hasta bandera so they've got the Red Cross, the military personnel, and some of the um, cabinet members. El presidente de la República realizará el lanzamiento de nuestro lavaro patrio a media hasta. 
so uh, the president is going to give a, uh, I'm sorry, he's going to give some kind of address right there. They're going to pull the uh, flag halfway up, they said, because, um, you know, it's a day of mourning for the people. And also, there was a, a large fund that was placed for them, um, for earthquake victims or victims of um, situations like that, tragedies. And the money was not given to the people. And so that was what he was talking about yesterday, was he's going to make sure that all the people get what they have coming. And so they're going to be raising it half-mast, is what the man said. for the families to finally have their family members commemorated after all these years for the ones in 85 and also after two years for the people that were in 2017 that were killed or you know died in the earthquake a continuación se rendirán los honores correspondientes so al presidente de los be Estados Unidos the honors y comandante supremo de las are, uh, Fuerzas corresponding. Armadas. So believe it or not, I was in that place yesterday. I went to the conference in person. Unfortunately, I did not get to uh, talk to the president myself, but it was still a very good experience being there. And I got to walk in that space and be present for the yell and bell commemoration or celebration of the uh, what do you call it? Independence from Spain, actually. And the president mentioned many beautiful thoughts. And uh, I was watching the internet last night, uh, last night, and everyone, uh, even his um, opposers, were saying that it was a most impressive and possibly the best bell and yell there has ever been. So later I'm going to be showing that, um, doing a video on that because I did personally take some video when I was there. But because of my location on that floor, um, you know, there was uh, barriers or obstacles. So I'm going to be using some of the president's footage uh, from his program. In order to honor the people that lost their uh, life in the seismic activity or earthquake of 85 and uh, 2017. So now they're going to uh, commemorate with silence. Now let me tell you, I walked around Mexico for about a week 
and the uh, National Guard, which included the Marines, regular military, um, Se necesita entonar nuestro police force. Acompañados por el They're going to be singing the National de Hymn. La de la Defensa Nacional. I was raised in the U.S. and um, I never learned the words. Um, I asked a friend to get me the words to this national Mexican hymn, but I don't know it. I don't know the words. Seems like this one's turned a little angular. Sorry about that. So we appreciate the assistance of the President of the Republic and his, his uh, wife and, and the, all the Secretaries of Government, Safety, Development, and Urban Development, and Public Service, and the people of the Government of Mexico, National Coordinator, and uh, protection for uh, civil uh, in general. And everyone have an excellent day. So actually, it looks like they're walking towards the uh, palace, the um, where they usually have the um, morning uh, conferences. Uh, it's on uh, this side, where they're, the direction which they're walking. They're saying it's an honor to fight on behalf of. Uh, Obrador. And that is something that they were chanting the day of the yell and the bell on the 15th. There was also beautiful fireworks and you could hear the people chanting that they were happy to be there. And you can see the people are starting to gather around. So today the conference was delayed. The conference is going to be after uh, this uh, commemoration. So uh, now they're entering the palace. See now that area directly behind um, was where he stood on the uh, terrace and rung the bell and the, uh, waved the flag and um, said long live about 20 different things and people. Um, 
a lot of them were thoughts, like, you know, uh, thoughts to bring good to the people, which uh, we'll, we'll do a little later. Sippy, sippy. So today there's hardly any people <laughs> compared to the day that they had the... Uh, On the 15th, when they had the ringing of the bell and the yell of independence. Now, if you can look at where the streets are, that whole platform, up and down the streets, as far as the eye could see and even farther, there were people, shoulder to shoulder, and there was fireworks. And uh, we waited all day from like 8 in the morning till about midnight was uh, right about, the, I think they did the yell at about 11, and um, and then uh, there was fireworks, so sometime after midnight we were having fireworks, plus the whole day they had um, people there uh, from every province, artists, showing their style of dance because every area in Mexico has their own uh, individual style and it was just beautiful there was three uh, acts uh, from every uh, province and then they did all the famous songs you know the ones that everybody knows like Cielito Lindo and all of that um, and the, it was just gorgeous it was beautiful and very um, mo motivating and emotional and people were crying and smiling and happy because it was the first time in many years that they had a president-elect, someone that was there because the people wanted him there. And what I understand that the years before that, whenever they had the yell and bell, they used to have to pay people to come to show up. And then the people would yell um, abusively at the president that was in office and tell him that he was vulgar, that he was a thief, that he uh, didn't belong there, that they didn't vote him in, and they would burn piñatas. And um, But the press wasn't showing that part because it wasn't good for business, <laughs> you know, or for his image. But the people really were unhappy with Calderon, Fox, uh, what's the name of the other guy? Uh, I don't know, but there was one guy in between, and then there was Peña Nieto. And uh, the people were just very, very uh, angry every time they did the, the yell because they felt like they were being abused because um, the uh, president was himself and allowing the country to have the wealth stolen from it. The people became more and more impoverished. Um, gas prices went up, the price of food went up, the value of the dollar, a uh, peso went down in relation to the dollar. And uh, people resented him. They resented everything about the government and now they feel like they're finally getting the attention uh, to their needs, and they are. For example, now um, education is free for all levels. Not only that, but they get grants for every level so that they will be able to eat, buy uh, clothing and all the materials they need for school. Um, Every child in the family gets a grant, uh, over a thousand a month, of the Mexican pesos, of course, but um, I, it might even be over two thousand 
and the higher level education gets 5000 a month. But they can even become doctors and nurses, and uh, it would be a free education now. Uh, the previous governments had uh, sold uh, education to the highest bidder, and they were um, basically only allowing a few people, uh, people with uh, friends in high places, were getting a chance to get an education. So now they have a shortage of doctors and nurses and every type of education that they had denied uh, the students um, to, you know, the, the right to have it. Because in the Mexican Constitution, it is a right, an inalienable right to have an education. And it was not meant just for the wealthy. And the way they had worked it out, it became a thing where it was just for the wealthy. Only the wealthy people or people that had friends um, or relatives in government were able to go to school. Or sometimes by some form of lotto, uh, but it was very, very few. Um, and I believe pretty much n <laughs> none of the uh, indigent people if you didn't have the money, you didn't get an education. So what they found uh, as a result of that was not only did they have a shortage of every type of um, career, like doctors, nurses, attorneys, um, every type of career um, has a shortage now. And so people are... are uh, were, were forced into a, a life that um, they didn't choose. And I say that because one of the things that happened was that all these youth that could not get a job because they could not get an education, uh, many of them succumbed to um, organized crime and uh, selling drugs, and some of them were forced into it. Some of them you know, were threatened that they would hurt their families if they didn't help them and they would kidnap people and torture them and there was body parts um, it was horrible in Mexico there was no safety and let me tell you I drove around in Mexico and everywhere I went I saw military police um, very friendly I, I took some pictures with some I'll show later in one of my other uh, videos. So now the uh, conference is beginning. So they've just come into the pass uh, castle. And this is where I was yesterday, uh, sitting right about where the lady with a checkered uh, shirt is. And I got a uh, temporary pass for the day. But if I, today, on this occasion, we are going to remember the victims to their families, their friends, and all the people of Mexico in a special way for those that suffered due to the earthquakes and seismic activity of 1985 and 2017 not only in the city of Mexico, but also in various states of the country. Our solidarity, our hugs, our compassion for the people, hugs 
this day will, con will be take taking forth, first of all, in the uh, uh, giving of the um, civil um, recognition, which is something fundamental, all that we can do when it comes to preventative measures. Related to seismic and earthquake and other phenomena of uh, Earth, in recognition to those that work in the protection of the people, our civil workers, and also we will remember that at 9 o'clock we're going to all participate in a simula uh, simulation in order to act in a preventative way to, to kind of give an example and execute what you would have to do in case you had an earthquake activity or seismic activity, such as the experts recommend. Uh, how they tell you to act, Calma to act in a calm way, and to follow to the letter the instructions that the government that I represent has been giving special attention to this important um, material, which is for civil protection. We are prepared. We count with the support of the municipal government and state government. It's a coordinated effort of the uh, federal dependencies and agencies. And of course, we also count on the support of the Secretary of Marine and the Secretary of Defense. Our people, among other characteristics, among other virtues, is a people that's fraternal and sol has solidarity that always are the first to offer help and assistance. Today we've proposed that no one be left behind or that the government not stay get behind on this matter, that the government get there first in order to help in case of some kind of uh, unfortunate accident or incident. We are going to be listening to the director of civil protections, David Leon, and after that, the Secretary of Safety, Alfonso Durazo, will also let you know who will be receiving the recognition to attend uh, civil attention. Uh, and that's what the um, uh, uh, activities of uh, today are going to consist of because it's a special day of national mourning and that is why we hung the uh, flag half mast we are not going to have the uh, press conference such as we have every day 
we will have opportunities to do that tomorrow but it will be in Merida, Yucatan and we will be having a reunion there of security and the, and the press conference that will be in Merida, Yucatan tomorrow in the morning and of course we're going to be informing because it's our responsibility and our duty to inform the citizens so now we're going to give the opportunity to talk to David Uh, hello, everybody. Um, have a very good day. September is a month that reminds of a unforgivable uh, scars that we have deep in the most profound areas of our heart. September is an extraordinary month to have a homage and recognition and to uh, do everything that we can do against seismic Hoy, activity and the risks. Today is the National Day Envío of Civil Protection, respeto, and I am giving afecto, an effective emoción, hug and emotion and solidarity to all the families that have been painfully affected, but seismic activity that it has affected our country. They, we have put forth the love that, as a people, we have for one another. I recognize the people in the um, pub, private sector and uniformed and not uniformed, that with valor and fraternity, and services um, takes risks in order to save other people's lives. In a very special way, I recognize and appreciate all of the people of the National Defense Department and the Secretary of Marines that, as the president has said before, is a people in uniform, and they are permanently present, and they are here uh, to give uh, auxiliary assistance to anybody that points themselves in a situation like that. But I also, lastly, want to make a referendum to let you know that we are going to be making preventative measures to have our country be uh, uh, that we're going to have a simulation in order. Today at 10 a.m., we're going to be having a simulation of what you would do in case of an emergency. And this is going to be um, in order to have everyone be uh, prepared in case of another. So now he's going to give the um, recognition for um, helping uh, the uh, public. Um, you know, like civil, um, someone who's, you know, gone beyond uh, the call of duty and basically helped out people. We are recalling a uh, terrible day in the painful time of the people for the inhabitants of uh, the city of Mexico. But also we need to remember this date as that in which it was initiated a construction of a culture in order to protect the people that fortunately is very advanced, particularly in the society and of course also with the institutions of the government or offices and of the government of the republic. At this time, we also uh, created an, a technical infrastructure which now permits us to say to the Mexican people that we can give 
following with uh, total certain certainty to things that could possibly affect your lives and that could affect and all of us, and that due to this um, uh, technical um, preventative measures. So today we are going to be giving the um, uh, honors to those people that were dis distinguished uh, due to their el show of protection de for the public. Está por el and de it was Protección integrated Civil, León, um, by David Leon and the Secretary of Defense, General Luis Crescencio, General Luis Crescencio Sandoval, Sandoval, and the Secretary of Marines, José Rafael, and the president of the uh, deputy and Angelica Rojas and Hernandez and the president of the director's table and the senator of the republic who also finds himself here for the, for the director of the uh, autonomous and uh, Gerardo Moises Lawyer and the General Director of the Polytechnic National uh, Republic who is being represented by Juan Ivan Chavez and for the National Red Cross person who is also here, Fernando Suyande Cardenas and the Director of General uh, Enrique Guevara is from Sinapre and also being presided by me in my condition as um, Secretary of uh, Protection and Safety. If you would permit me, Mr. President, something that in your understanding we're going to be having uh, prizes for respective people, this is now a national prize that is going to be started in this year and also teaching preventative and helping related to the following. In the area of prevention, the, pri uh, the prize is going to the, the program of resilience against uh, uh, floods, and that's going to Mexico Cruz uh, Red Cross. And it's a group of volunteers that are organized and are, uh, have a capacity for prevention and attention in emergencies such as the risks and alerting and for, uh, first aid, evacuation, search and rescue, evaluation of damages and needs and support and refuge, a temporary refuge and the uh, debate, uh, control of fires, and anything else. They are always constantly uh, so that they, they make it so that the uh, community people will be the first responders in any emergency. So they're going to be given to uh, li the licenciado uh, Cardenas, and he's going to be give, uh, taking it uh, for the um, community brigades. Yes. So I guess on behalf of the Red Cross uh, community brigades, so what they do is they train people in the community to be first responders. Gracias a Fernando Suinaga. That's Fernando Suinaga. And he's getting the recognition and their, um, Viene uh, ahora la entrega del premio they're proud. en el campo de ayuda. El so premio now es the one in relation to help an organization uh, save the children in Mexico and the uh, help for the people uh, related to emergency after the uh, emergency of the earthquake in 2017. This organization started um, the 8th of September in the uh, earthquake of the Malkepec, 
and so they also responded to all the different regions in the south and southeast and the center of the country. After the elaboration of the uh, interventive and prevention measures for children and infancy, uh, in the first 12 months reported approximately a period of six months minimum with 143 people, 69,829 children, and also 71,881 uh, adults and inhabitants of diverse uh, delegations of the uh, cities and four municipalities of the country. The president is going to give this recognition to Maria Josefina Menendez Carvajal, repre legal representative for uh, Save the Children in Mexico. The committee of this recognition also rec uh, came to an agreement to give honorable mention to the uh, area of prevention <coughs> due to this um, monitoring <coughs> to the um, scientists that are in charge of um, <coughs> that are in charge of monitoring uh, seismic activity. So Carlos Miguel uh, González for the uh, Queen's uh, Cross, and they're giving um, they study Vulcan, uh, volcanic activity and also uh, stimulus in the, uh, uh, they're going to be stimulating that in the colleges and also investigators. And they're asking the uh, president to give that uh, honor and uh, that honor to Ms. Pozo, who works with scientists that are uh, dedicated to um, volcanic activity monitoring. Also, this committee has dis uh, prizes have decided to give um, recognition to the Secretary of Marines, uh, the armed Marines, due to the creation of a system for search and rescue. The Army of Mexico, as it has been recognized here, as well as the uh, Army, has uh, taken the responsibility of execution of search and rescue. And they utilize the available means like boat, uh, um, airplane, and personnel. But the uh, Marines are conscious of the um, vanguard of human life, and they've established a goal in optimizing the uh, search and rescue in order to, in a, in a systematic way and with the me adequate means, can respond to the demand of um, necessary safety uh, search and rescue. So we ask the president to give the uh, honorable mention to, to uh, the Admiral um, Jose Ojeda, Secretary of Marine, who's uh, receiving it in, uh, on behalf of the institution. And with this, we conclude uh, the recognition of these um, uh, and we appreciate the president taking the time to give uh, hand them out himself the honorable mentions and the uh, uh, certificates prizes so now they're just going to pose for pictures <laughs> 
So everybody um, up there looks like either got mentioned or got a prize. And he says, thank you, everybody. So today there will not be a press conference, so that's the end of it. All right, thank you for assisting. Bye. Okay, so anyway, that was um, very uh, interesting, I thought. And um, anyway, so uh, later on, uh, I've got a very uh, big uh, thing to go to today, so I won't be able to do it right away. But I will be uh, going to my daughter's um, grand opening uh, at the cellar door. She is an artist, a local artist. And her art will be uh, put on the walls of the cellar door. So if anybody lives in the area of Visalia, uh, the cellar door is on the corner, I believe, of Main and Court or Locust, somewhere like that, across from the Starbucks. So if you're in the area and you want to see uh, my daughter's uh, art show, there will be salsa and chips and um, lots of fun activity. So go if you'd like. Thank you very much and have a great day. See you at the next video. Oh, and by the way, uh, please like and subscribe and let other people know that uh, do not speak Spanish and are curious to know what's going on in Mexico. Um, if you would uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel, I'm Low Vision or Mara Carranza. Um, I, I would be so grateful and thank you very much for uh, being present today. Have a great day.